Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open three packs of Return to Ravnica and I have our friend Gideon here to do the pack blessing duties today. Hopefully we'll do a lot better than Jace and Liliana did recently. We'll get stuck into this pack here. Paralyzing Grasp is the first of the commons. Axbane Stag. Catacomb Slug, Launch Party, Vessel Soul, Trestle Troll, Stab Wound, Splatter Thug, Stealer of Secrets, Selesnia Guildgate, and for the Uncommons we have Shrieking Affliction, Is It Kirun, Zanakev Locust. And our air is Firemind's Foresight. It's an instant for 7 mana. Search your library for an instant card with converted mana cost 3. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then repeat this process for instant cards with converted mana costs 2 and 1. Then shuffle your library. And an add and a mountain. Okay, Gideon, let's pull some value. Don't want to pull a Jace. Alright, Trained Caracal. Survey the Wreckage. Aerial Predation. Chronic Flooding. Centaur Healer. Skull Rend. Dead Reveler. Stealer of Secrets. Knightly Valor. Splatter Thug again. And the uncommons we have Fall of the Gavel, Psychic Spiral, Rakdos Ringleader, Skeleton Warrior, ooh, and the rare is out of focus, Mana Bloom, Enchantment for X and a Forest. Enter the battlefield with X charge counters on it, remove a charge counter from it, and you get to add one mana of any colour to your mana pool. Activate this ability only once each turn. And at the beginning of your upkeep, if it has no charge counters on it, return it to its owner's hand. So I guess if you've got any mana left over, you can store that up, attach it to this card, and then reuse it. And when you run out, you get it back in your hand. Very nice. Add and a planes. Okay, last pack. Let's see if we can get a crazy pull in this last pack. And we start off with a bellows lizard, cobble brute, dramatic rescue, gorehouse chain walker. What on earth? That is pretty weird. Gate Creeper Vine, Azorius Arresta, Is It Guildgate, Dagger Drome Imp, Spurious Skywatch. For the Uncommons, we have Shrieking Affliction, Vandal Blast, Dryad Militant, and the Rare. <laughs> there we go, that's the craziness. That's what we're looking for. Jace, Architect of Thought. Mythic! Okay, so he has four loyalty, costs four mana to bring out. And we've got some micro printing here. His plus one is until your next turn, whenever a creature an opponent controls attacks, it gets minus one, minus zero until end of turn. Minus two, reveal the top three cards of your library and opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other on the bottom of your library in any order. And his ultimate, minus eight for each player. Search that player's library for a non-land card and exile it. Then that player shuffles his or her library. You may cast those cards without paying their mana costs. There he is. Jace the Planeswalker. He is not with us today in Funko Pop form. But he probably would have hosed us anyway if he was. Okay, very nice. Centaur. Oh, what? Are we gonna get here? We get a mountain and 
Ooh, look at that. Foil Cremate. Instant for one. Exile target card from graveyard. Draw a card. Always nice to get the foils. Okay, so my picks today. No discussion. Jace, Architect of Thought. If you disagree, leave a note in the comments. Uncommons. I thought I saw something interesting here. Ooh, he's not as interesting as I thought. Okay, let's go back to this guy. He looked pretty interesting. Uh, Raptos Ringleader, 3-1 for 6 mana. Skeletal Moria has first strike whenever he deals combat damage to a player. That player discards a card at random. And you can pay a swamp, regenerate Raptos Ringleader. Seems pretty decent. And there was one I wanted to get a closer look at here in the, here we go, in the common slot. My pick today is the Gorehouse Chainwalker, Human Warrior, 2-1 for 2 mana, has the Unleash ability. You may have this creature enter the battlefield with the plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. It can't block as long as it has a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. If the pig's blood rips on you, you're next on the chain. Ooh. Alright, so what would you have picked in the rare, uncommon and common slots? Leave a note in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And have a great day.